Hi, I'm Buster, creator of The Temporal War, aka The Architect. Today, we're going to be covering how to set up on Tabletop Simulator and your objectives. I'll also be teasing some game lore along the way, so keep an ear out for that. Alright, let's get set up. For this video, we're going to assume that you've already subscribed to the Temporal War mod on the Tabletop Simulator Workshop, and that you have been to the Temporal War Play Network to copy a deck. If you haven't done these things, please visit thetemporalwar.com slash play for more information. Once you have done this, you can start a game by opening Tabletop Simulator and clicking Create. Then hit Multiplayer and set the number of players. I really suggest a two to three player game for your first game. Then set the server type to friends if everyone's already friends with you on Steam, or set it to public and then you'll have to set a password. I'm gonna go ahead and do friends and you can change the server name to whatever you like, then hit create server. Then you're gonna find the temporal ward down here in your workshop tab as long as you subscribed and then load that. And just so you're not surprised, it will take a moment to load the first time through. Now for those joining a game, hit join. This will bring you to a list of all the servers available. Hit friends only and you should be able to see it here. Or search the Temporal War or look for the host's name. Then you'll be prompted to enter whatever password they gave you and then hit connect. Once everyone is here, we can now choose our colors, set up the board, and load our decks into the game. Start by going up here to the top right corner, click on your name and change color. You will then be prompted to choose a color. It doesn't matter which color you choose. It doesn't have anything to do with your cards or anything. It is simply where you will be seated at the table. For a two player game, sit opposite of each other. For a three player game, form a triangle. But, before I choose, it's time for our first breadcrumb of lore. Here in the Temporal Realm, there are six eternal spirits that watch over the universe. Each of these spirits are heavily influenced by six different dichotomies of sentient existence. For example, the Red Spirit represents love and hate. But we're not going to cover all of these right now. Instead, I just want you to note that you are playing as the spirit of whichever color you choose, not as one of your cards. So for now, I'm just going to choose blue because it's right in front of me. Then, after everyone is in place, anyone can press the Setup Table button. This will automatically set up the table for a six-player game. If you're not playing a six-player game, Whoever started the server can delete tiles from the empty player sections, or you can leave them where they are and ignore them. But for the sake of learning, we will delete them. First, click and drag your mouse to select multiple items at once. This will allow you to control them all at the same time. And while they are all highlighted, you can delete them by pressing backspace or the delete button. Be careful not to delete these tiles. We'll come back and talk about all these pieces later, but for now we need to load our decks into the game. To do this, come up here to the top left corner and paste the TTS code you got from the Temporal War Play Network. I'm going to pretend that I forgot to do that, so I'm going to escape the game by pressing Alt Escape, and this will allow me to navigate back to the Play Network while Tabletop Simulator stays running in the background. Now I'll copy a deck and I'll choose the Beast Drive. Now back in the game I'll click on the importer and say Control V to paste the code and then press import deck. This will spawn my champion and my deck and just like loading the game this will take a moment for the first time but it will be faster from then onward. This is because the game is saving the card images. This is important to note because whenever cards get updated, you will need to turn off mod caching to load the new images. But let's not worry about that right now. Instead, let's finish setting up. Our next step is to shuffle our deck and draw 5 cards. To do this, hover over your deck and press the R key on your keyboard. Here in the land of Tabletop Simulator, R stands for randomize. It can also be used to roll dice, like this. 
Once your deck is shuffled, hover over it and press 5. And be sure to only press it once. There is a small delay and if you press it twice you will attempt to draw 55 cards. If that happens, highlight them, pull them away from your hand zone, flip them over using the F key, and then put them back where they belong. Now let's try again. Shuffle by pressing R, and then press 5 to only draw 5 cards. Next we are going to summon our champion by pressing the Summon button located right here on the card. This will spawn its warrior piece with a ring around it that shows your color. Take this warrior piece and place it on your temple, which is this tile. By the way, remember how you are playing as a spirit which lives in the temporal realm? Well, this temple is the physical structure where you live. In fact, you could say that your temple and you are one and the same. And so, the next thing we need to do is grab one of these health trackers and place it nearby. This is your health. It starts at 20, and if it ever reaches zero, you're out. But we'll come back to that in a moment. Next, you will need to set your champion's health. Grab another health tracker and place it on your champion's card. A warrior's health is shown here. And so, we'll lower this from 20 to 15. Now, because we are playing a 2-3 to three player game, we need to make one tiny adjustment. We're going to grab our champion and our temple, and we're going to move that in two spaces. Everybody at the table would do this, and again, this is only for a 2-3 to three player game. In a 4-6 to six player game, you would just leave them where they were. And now, the very last part of setting up is deciding how long our game should last. We can either have a short game, a mid game, or a long game. In a short game, each player can only control three warriors at a time, and you start with three ether. In a mid game, you can only control six warriors at a time, and you start with six ether. And in a long game, you can control up to nine warriors at a time, and you start with nine ether. What is ether, you ask? It is the resource that we gather and spend to play our cards. And we keep up with how much ether you have with this ether tracker. Right now it is set to 3 for a short game, and I highly suggest leaving it at 3 for now and playing a short game for your first time. You'll be able to play mid and long games at an action-packed pace once you've become familiar with the rules. Until then, those game modes will be too heavy for most people. And with that final decision out of the way, we are all set up. Which brings us to the last part of this video, your objective. In short, our game is split into five rounds. At the end of each round, we will press this end round button. At the end of the fifth round, each player will be awarded points based on two criteria, and the player with the highest score wins. Criteria number one is your temple's remaining health. In essence, your remaining health. Secondly, you also get six points for each of these tiles that you control. And they are called fountains because they represent raw ether violently shooting out of the ground and up into the infinite void. We'll show you how to take control of these fountains in a later video. But for now, that's it. We're all set up and we know our objectives. Protect our temple, damage our enemy's temples, and control fountain tiles. In the next video, we will go over all the game's components, including the cards and all the other various pieces laid out before you. And we will take a closer look at the board itself, including the eye-catching center space. What could it be? Is it a portal to another dimension? Find out in the next episode of How to Play the Temporal War.